I have got a lot of camera equipment and I need a storage solution for it all. What I think I'm gonna make is a roller tool cabinet, similar to what I've got under this workbench now. This year, I'm on a bit of a mission to buy less wood and try and use all the bits I have. And what I've got is some 18 mil MDF. Uh, no, it's not, it's OSB. Leftover from the workbench build, I think. I've got loads more scraps in the shed, so I'm gonna try and use just little bits of wood I have for this. The first job is I need four sides for the cabinet. So pretty easy, I can just get these marked out and then I'm gonna get them cut down using the track saw. I've got the four bits cut on the track saw, but now I need them all to brought to the same width. So I'm gonna do that on the table saw so I can get them all consistent. I have my four bits, so this now can go together. It's gonna to be very simple, just some butt joints with some screws. I'm not even gonna glue it because I might wish to take this apart in the future. So I've got my screws started, get them lined up, and then uh, just driven in. So that's the four bits together. And I think the next job is to get some casters attached because it'd be easier to do while this is all open. I've got these 100 mil casters, which are locking. I want to recess the bolt heads and that doesn't leave much material, but what I have is some strips of 12 mil OSB that I'm gonna get attached to the front and the back. And that's just gonna give me a little extra material to bolt these wheels onto. I've got these strips on and I've left them long. So I'm just gonna get this down and then lock them off with the track saw. Now I can get a wheel put into each corner and mark out where the holes are gonna need to go. I now need to drill down to accept the bolts. I've got a 25 mil force in a bit I'm gonna use. I'm gonna drill down about three quarters of the way through the 18 mil MDF to accept these. These casters come with an eight mil bolt, so I can take an eight mil drill bit, and what I'm gonna do is drill through on the little point these Forstner bits make. So I'm going all the way through now. Now I can get the bolts put in, and these casters, put into place. Okay, now I need a back on this um, to stop the drawers I'm gonna put in falling out and for to make it all stable. And what I have is some 12 mil MDF. I'm gonna cut a little rebate for it to go in, so I'm gonna use a rebate cutter in the router to go around the back.
Okay, that did not really go to plan. I've never tried to route OSB before, and with all the bits going in different directions, it was a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna change my plan. Instead of uh, rebating the back panel, I'm just gonna screw it on, which is obviously a lot simpler, and it'd probably be a bit stronger actually, because I can get bigger screws in. So I'm gonna get the panel cut down and then just get it screwed on. This back can now go on and I get a series of screws in around the outside to lock it in place. So I now need some drawers to go in here and what I have is some of these Stanley cases. A, a viewer kindly sent me a couple they had spare. So I'm going to incorporate two of these in and then I can think I can get three more drawers. In fact it'll probably be the other way around, I'll probably have these at the top. Anyway, I've got some more 18mm OSB that I'm going to get cut down for the drawers. Got all the side pieces done for the drawers, so now they need bottoms, and I have some more 12 mil MDF that I can get cut down for that. Now I can get all these drawers put together. So I've got some 50 mil screws, and I'm just going to get them screwed together. Now the design of these drawers is definitely not how. I would do them in an ideal world, but as I say, I was just trying to maximize all the material I have. So it means that the front of the drawers are slightly taller than the sides and the back. Um, because if I got them all the same height I wanted, I wouldn't have had enough material. Anyway, I think it's all gonna work out. Right, now for the base, I can get this flipped over and then I'm going to get a bead of PVA wood glue put all the way around this. The MDF panel can then go on. Now the good thing is, this panel is cut square. So I can get some screws down one edge and then pull everything square to this panel so that my, well, drawer will be square. Right, that is first one done. Right, now I've got two more of these drawers to put together. So this project really has been about two of my hobbies, woodworking and camera gear. But I've got other interests too, and I enjoy reading about them all. And that brings us to today's sponsor of the video, Readly. Now, Readly have got publications on so many subjects, so not, no matter what your interest, they're going to have something that's going to be of interest to you. Now, obviously, I like having a look through all the woodworking magazines and the making magazines, and there's a lot to choose from. But if you run out, there's also all the back issues to go through as well. This week, I've been enjoying reading Wood Magazine. They had an interesting article on their cover about a dust extractor, and that drew me in. It looks a really interesting design. I've not seen something like it done before. 
but there's lots of other interesting bits in there as well. They have lots of projects with some really detailed good plans. So lots to follow along. If I find an article I'm interested in, like that dust extractor one, that I know I'm going to want to come back to later, I can bookmark it so I can find it easily again. Also, I can download it and read it offline, which is fantastic for when I come out here, as the internet connection is not very good. But as I say, I'm not one dimensional. It's not just woodworking and making magazines I enjoy reading. I like the camera stuff as well. I enjoy photography. I enjoy videography, but I really enjoy the gear associated with it all, as you can probably tell. So I really like having a look through the magazines, seeing what's coming out, reading the reviews, and being tempted to spend money. Now, maybe after I finish this project and I see I've got some more space, I'll even be able to buy some new gear. So another big interest of mine is food and cooking. In fact, I've just started a whole new YouTube channel about cooking. So being able to look through cookery magazines for recipes has been fantastic. I've got lots of cookery books, but magazines are fantastic because they talk about what's in season that month and actually talk about holidays that are coming up as well. So you can have inspiration for those kind of things. Looking through these, I'm never going to be short of ideas of things to cook. The camera magazines make me want to spend money. The cookery ones, they just make me hungry. Right, on to the last drawer. So I enjoy reading a lot on Readly. And if you'd like to try it too, free for two months, cancel at any time, then there'll be a link down below under this video. So thank you, Readly. Now let's get this last drawer finished. These drawers now need runners, so I'm going for something very simple. I've got some more bits of OSB scrap that I've got cut down. And I've also got some little bits of wood that are spacers. So what I'm going to do is take one of my spacers, put it on the drawer, get the runner put on top, and then screwed into the wall. Now the next drawer can go in and actually ride on these runners and I can repeat the process. The third drawer can now go in and I've cut some bigger spacer blocks. They can sit on there. Then I can get the shelf in for the tool cases to go on. I'm going to find the centre of this shelf and then mark it on the side so I can get some screws driven in. I now need a way of actually opening these drawers. So what I have is some of these little cup handles. On the front of the drawer, I'm going to mark out a centre line and then an equal distance in from each end and get these screwed on. I have some of these little brass nameplates and I think they would be a nice little final touch. Right, so the last job is just to get everything put in these drawers neatly.
So there we go, all done. Three drawers with all my camera gear now neatly stored and room for a couple of Stanley cases at the top. In fact, I've only filled one so far, so I've definitely got room for some more gear. So, thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.